வாரத்தில் முதல் நாளாகிய அன்றை தினம் சாயங்கால வேளையிலே சீசர்கள் கூடியிருந்த இடத்தில் யூதர்களுக்கு பயந்ததினால் கதவுகள் பூட்டப்பட்டிருக்கையில் இயேசு வந்து நடுவேன் என்று உங்களுக்கு சமாதானம் என்றார் அவர் இப்படி சொல்லி தம்முடைய கைகளையும் விழாவையும் அவர்களுக்கு காண்பித்தார் சீசர்கள் கத்தரை கண்டு சந்தோஷப்பட்டார்கள் இயேசு மறுபடியும் அவர்களை நோக்கி உங்களுக்கு சமாதானம் உண்டாவதாக பிதா என்னை அனுப்பினதைப் போல நானும் உங்களை அனுப்புகிறேன் என்று சொல்லி அவர்கள் மேல் ஊதி பரிசுத்த ஆவியை பெற்றுக் கொள்ளுங்கள் என்றார் when the doors were shut where the disciples were assembled for fear of the jews came jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them peace be unto you and when he had so said he showed unto them his hands and his side then were the disciples glad when they saw the lord then said jesus to them again peace be unto you as my father hath sent me even so send i you and when he had said this he breathed on them and said unto them receive ye the holy ghost we read in yesu tharude sheesargalai sandhitha oru sambhavathai nam inge vaasikkarom we read an incident in which the resurrected jesus met his disciples ava namakkaga silivile marita he died for us on the cross nammude paavangalai silivile sumandu mudita and he took all our sins on the cross nammude saavangal vedanagal ellavathai silivile sumandu mudita vittu and he has borne all our curses and every one of our curses on the cross avar adakkam panna patta and when he was kept in the sepulcher sheesarude ullamai poladhu kalangikondirundhu and the hearts of the disciples were lamented inna yesu moolama periya ratchya pondagum endru ennikondirundho they had been thinking that there will be grass great salvation through this jesus adal yesu vai ippoladhu selivel araindu kondu vittargal but now they have crucified this jesus and have killed him inmel inda madai thalavargal namma enna seiru viduvargalo and here after what is going to happen for us from this religious leaders ஒரு பயம் உண்டாயிற்று and there was an apprehension fear in their heart and the bayathin nimitha vai veliye kuda pogaanapadi arai veetukulle mudangi irundargal because of that fear they were not able to even go out and they shut them inside the doors velile povadharke bayam avargalukku so they were afraid to go out inimel edirkalam enna endra bayam avale sondirundhar they had a fear about their future and the samayathile dan it was in that time oi thalinda yesu vanda avargal munbaga nendra the resurrected jesus came and stood before them and were thanne avulukku uyirodu kuda irukkaravulaga kaanvitha and jesus showed himself to his disciple as a living person avar til yesuvai kandu sandoshapattargal endru venam solugira bible says that they were happy to see jesus avare dukkam sandoshamai maari vittu or every one of their sorrow was turned into joy yesuvai paatha udane avare dukkam ella maraindu vittu the moment says they saw jesus all their sorrow was gone avare bayam ella maari vittu and the fear was changed and the oi thalinda yesu thannai thanudi sheesargalukku velippadithina oh it was in that day the resurrected jesus revealed himself to his disciples indha ke the oi thalinda yesu namathile prasannamai irukkara and the same resurrected jesus is present here as also avan namathile irukkara he is with us here avrude maranatha nenavu korumbadi nam indha thirupirundile pangu petrom and in order to remember his death we took part in this holy communion indha thirupirundha avar uyirodu kuda irukkara என்பதை வெளிப்படுத்துகிறார் this holy coming and also reminds us that he is alive அவர் இன்றைக்கு நமத்தில் உயிரோடு இருக்கிறார் he is alive right now with us இன்றைக்கு அவர் ஆராதிக்க வந்திருக்கிற நம்மை சந்திக்க வந்திருக்கிறார் and he has come to meet us who have come to worship him இங்க யாரோ ஒரு ஒரு துக்கத்தோடு நீங்கள் வந்திருக்கலாம் some of you may be coming here with some anger ஒரு துக்கத்தை சந்தோஷமாய் மாற்ற அவர் வந்திருக்கிறார் oh he has come here in order to change your sorrow into joy நான் உயிரோடு கூட இருக்கிறேன் என்று உங்களுக்கு சொல்லும்படி உங்களுக்கு பிரசன்னமாய் இருக்கிறார் now to tell you that i am alive here he is present மரித்த நாளாலும் இந்த சரா காலங்களில் நான் உயிரோடு இருக்கிறேன் oh i died but i am alive for you now அவர் உயிரோடு இருக்கிறபடி நான் நாம் எதை குறித்து பயப்பட தேவையில்லை oh because he is alive let us never be afraid of anything அவர் 
உயிரோடு இருக்கிறபடி நான் நாம் ஏதையும் சந்திக்கும்படியான தைரியத்தை தருகிறார் அவர் உயிரோடு நம்மோடு இருக்கிறார் என்பதை நாம் மறந்து போகிறோம் மார்டின் லூத்தர் மூலமாக சிறுத்த திருச்சபையில ஒரு பெரிய எழுப்புதலை கத்தர் உண்டாக்கினார் அவர் மிகுந்த வல்லமையோடு பயன்படுத்தப்பட்டார் சபைகளுக்குள் ஒரு பெரிய ஒரு மாற்றம் உருவானது அந்த சமயத்தில் ஒரு நாள் அவர் மிகுந்த துக்கத்தோடு கூட இருந்தார் இட் வாஸ் இன் தட் டைம் ஒன் டே ஹி வாஸ் வித் சபை குறித்த நிறைய பிரச்சனைகள் போராட்டங்கள் வந்தபடி ஆலவுடைய மனதில் ஒரு துக்கம் வந்தது அமர்ந்திருந்தோடு பேசும்போது அவரால் சந்தோஷமாய் பேச முடியவில்லை அவர் துக்கத்தோடு மனம் சோர்ந்திருந்தார் அப்பொழுது மனைவி அறிந்து கொண்டாங்க இவர் துக்கத்தோடு and his wife came to know that martin luther was there with agony sabaygale kurita uliyate kurita romba dukkam adaindu vedane odu irukkar and she understood that oh he is having a grief over his church avargal poi thavar karuppu udai adindu konde or munnal vandu nindargal she went back and put on a black colored dress and stood before martin luther german desathile yaravadu oru varu samukke therindavargal marithu vittal அடக்காராதனைக்கு போகும்போது கருப்பு உடைய அணிந்து போவார்கள் இந்த கண்ட் ஆஃப் ஜெர்மனி இஃப் சம் நோன் பர்சன் இஸ் டெட் அண்ட் இஃப் வென் தே கோ ஃபார் அ ஃபியூனரல் தே கோ வித் பிளாக் கலர் ட்ரெஸ் அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு கருப்பு உடைய அணிந்து வந்து நின்றார்கள் அண்ட் இன் தட் வே ஷி ட்ரெஸ் அண்ட் கேம் அண்ட் ஸ்ட் ஃப்ரண்ட் ஆஃப் மார்டின் லூதர் பார்த்தார் யார் மறித்து போனது என்று அவசரமாய் விசாரித்தார் மார்டின் லூதர் சா ஹிஸ் ஒய்ஃப் அண்ட் ஆஸ் ஹூ இஸ் டெட் ஏசு கிரிசி இறந்து விட்டார் என்று சொன்னார்கள் ஷி சேட் ஜீசஸ் இஸ் டெட் அப்படி சொன்ன உடனே இவருக்கு கோபம் விட்டது அவர் மறித்து போனார் என்று யார் சொன்னது அவர் மறித்து உயிரோடு கூட இழந்திருக்கிறார் ஓ ஹி வாஸ் dead but he is alive for all of us we are going to be he is alive for all of us and we are going to be with full courage he said that with full courage and speedily he uttered it our mother is saying his wife told our we are going to be with you and you are going to be if jesus is alive why you are here like this with agony and then and then he understood his our we are going to be with you and you are going to be with you when jesus is alive why should i be like this with a grief ஆசீர்வாதத்தை <laughs> ஜனங்களுக்கு சமாதானம் அருளி அவர்களை ஆசிர்வதிக்கிறார் என்று வேதம் சொல்லுகிறார் சமாதானத்தை <laughs> 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 
Let there be peace. Even today here, Jesus is literally present here. Some of you is lacking the peace. And in somebody's heart, the peace is affected. And in someone's heart there is a fear. There is no true peace in your heart. Without fear you may be seen that you are in peace. But your heart is broken and there is no peace inside. Jesus wants to give you peace today. The resurrected God wants to give the true peace to you. The one who turned the sorrow of the disciples into joy. And today he is a mighty God to change your sorrow into joy. Please check up your heart whether you have a real peace in your heart. You please check up your heart whether there is a really true joy in God. And some of you are lacking in that area. Oh, you are coming to church. And you take part in worship. And you pray like that. And you also read Bible. But inside your heart there is no real peace. Some of you is like that in the condition. In order to meet you, Jesus has come here. The resurrected Jesus is talking to you. In India, in the city of Velur, there is a big hospital called CMC. It is a Christian hospital. Most of the doctors working there are Christians. Most of the nurses are also Christians. And there is a chapel there and the worship will be going all the times. And there they have inscribed the verses of God. Many girls from Christian families come there to learn as nurses and to work there. Oh, it is a usual practice for all the nurses to gather and pray there. Once there came a nurse there in CMC from a village who were from a Christian family. Oh, she was brought up in the fear of God right from infancy. She was born in a village and brought up in a Christian family. She knows only her house and the church herself. Every day the worship will be going in the chapel and she will go to every day. Oh, she will memorize all the verses of God. She will take part in all the worship. Oh, she was brought up with full fear of God. Oh, she has to pray in the morning and in the evening. And she will uh, take part in all the worships in the church. She was brought up with full devotion. She was brought up in such a way that she must be pleasing in the eyes of God. For the first time she was coming out of her village to join in CMC to learn and to qualify as a nurse. She never, she never forgot to bring her Bible. Oh, she was observing everyone gathering and praying. She took part in all the worship. And once in a week she saw there that some few people, few girls gathered there and prayed there. She also went and kept her in the fellowship. Everyone was singing happy. They were worshipping rejoicing. Every one of them was happy. 
ஆனால் இவளுக்கும் அந்த பிள்ளைகளுக்கும் ஒரு வித்தியாசம் இருப்பதை இவள் உணர்ந்தார் அவங்களுக்குமா <laughs> ஒரு நாள் ஒரு வாலி பெண்ணிடத்தில் விசாரித்தார் என்ன உள்ளத்தில இல்ல You don't have Jesus in Yesu your heart. Yesu will have to go to the world. You don't have the experience of accepting Jesus in your heart. We have all accepted and accepted Him as our own Savior. He is in silence. 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 We have the joy of redemption that He has forgiven us. Our sins. And the Rakshay Peer Sandoshi. The God of salvation is within us. We have the joy of redemption that You are praying in the traditional way. நீ வளக்கு திருமடி வேற வாஸ்து கொண்டு இருக்கிறாய். You are reading Bible in the traditional way. ஆனாலும் இயேசுவை ருசித்தவர்களாய் செபிக்கிறோம். But we pray in such a way that we have tasted Jesus. வேத வசனத்தை ருசித்தவர்களாய் வாசிக்கிறோம். We read the Bible in such a way that we are tasting the word of God. அதுவே எங்களுக்கு சொந்தமாக்கி இருக்கிறோம். Because we have met Jesus as our own. அவரை சந்தித்த அனுபவம் எங்களுக்கு இருக்கிறது. We have the joy of meeting Jesus. நீயும் அவரை சந்தி You should also meet him. நீயும் அவரை ஏற்றுக்கொள்ள வேண்டும். You should also accept him. வா உள்ளத்தில் அவர் வந்தால் எல்லாம் வித்தியாசமாய் மாறி விடும். The moment he steps into your heart everything will be different. அப்பதான் ஒரு வித்தியாசத்தை புரிந்து கொண்டார். And then the girl from the village understood the difference. ஐயோ வெறும் பக்தியா இருந்து பிரயோஜனம். Oh it's not enough I'm with all my devotion. இயேசுவை நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையில ஏற்றுக்கொள்ள வேண்டும். I must accept Jesus in my life. அந்த சமாதான பிரபு உள்ளுக்குள்ளே வர வேண்டும். Oh the king of peace must step into my heart. அப்பதான் ஒரு பெரிய சந்தோஷம் உண்டு என்பதை அவர் அறிந்து கொண்டார். and she came to know only when there will be a great joy our rachi pai tedinal and she was in search of salvation and the yesu was sondamaki kondal and she accepted jesus as her savior a very vidyasamana samadhanate unaramudindu and she was able to feel a great difference in her life nam ellarku yesu pai theriyum we all know about jesus avar marithu uyirod elundar endru theriyum and we know that he was there and he is resurrected anal avare thanipatta marayile ningal sandhitha anubavam irukkirada do you have the experience of personal visitation with Jesus yaro oru var innum avare sandhikamale irukkireerge some of you has not had met Jesus personally yesu ve nesikireerge you love Jesus yesu ve viswasikireerge you believe him and avare aaradhikireerge and you worship him too anal avare sandhipatta marile sandhitha oru anubavam ungalukkillai but you don't have the personal experience of meeting Jesus we tell the yesu ve sandhipatta marile sandhitha anubavam illai you don't have the personal experience of meeting the resurrected Jesus 
அப்படிப்பட்ட யாரோ ஒருவருடைய உள்ளம் இங்கே சமாதானமே பெறுகிறது சமாதான <laughs> சூழ்நிலைகளினாலும் <laughs> நிறைவேறுகிறது <laughs> அதிகமாய் பேசினார் Nearing, he spoke much about this Holy Spirit. Yovan, Padhi Nanga Madhi Gara, Padhi Nara Masanati Lai. And in the book of John chapter 14 and verse 16, Nan Pidabai Vendi Kollu Vain, I will pray to the Father. Appadu the end of the day, Mungulodu Kodai Yirikamadi Veroori Tetra Vaadani, Avaru Ule Gita Andar Ulu. And he will give you a comforter who shall be with you every time. Avar end of the day, Mungulodu Kodai Yiripa. He will be with you all the days. Avar in the Petru Kollu Vendi Da Avar Shriya. It is a must, a mandatory day. you must receive him yovan 16 7 le aise solum bodu and in john 16 when jesus 16 7 jesus told povaru ungalku nalladu it is good that i go naan pogadirundal theetra vaadan varamudiyadu if i don't go the comforter cannot come avaru varavendiya avashyam it is a must that he must come endal avare neengal petrukolla vendiya avashyam because you must receive the comfort parishuddha aavyanavare petrukolla vendiya eppadi avashyam anbare aandavar unattugira and god make them to realize that it is a very very must for them to receive the holy spirit apostle nadabadiga mudalam adhigaram naalam asanathile the book of acts chapter 1 and verse 4 adhi uyithalinda yesu solugira resurrected jesus said ningal innum sila naalikkude parishuddhaavinaale gnana snanam peruvirgal and you will be baptized by the holy spirit in few days adhaavi anavari korithe innum aandavar telivu padithagar and god made it clear about the holy ghost to them apostle nadabadiga mudalam adhigaram 8th asanathile Acts 
And verse number eight. The last word uttered by Jesus before he ascended up to heaven. When the Holy Ghost comes upon you, you will be renewed with the strength. And you shall be my testimonies. My testimonies in Jerusalem. And in the entire Judea you will be my witnesses. In Samaria also, and to the uttermost parts of the world. Only if you accept the mighty power of the Holy Ghost, you shall stand as a testimony. You will be a mighty Christian. We become as a Christian when we accept Jesus. But it is not enough. God wants us to become as mighty people. Because our God is a mighty God. And He also wants us to be a mighty person like Him. Even if a father is illiterate, or He desires His child to be literate. Oh, the love of people also want their children desire their children to be loved like that. It is the desire of every father like that. Our father is also desiring like that. Oh, the God is a mighty God. And God also wants us to be a mighty people like Him. That's why when the Holy Ghost comes upon you, God says that you will accept the mighty power of God. When the mighty power of God creeps in you, you will also live a mighty life in this world. Why we cannot can't, can't we live without the mighty power of God? Oh, we meet a lot of sufferings when we live in this world. Oh, the Strugglings and sufferings of sin comes upon our body. And we undergo a lot of tribulations and sorrows in this world. And in the spiritual world also there are strugglings. Satan is settling against us. And he tries to make us weary. He struggles in such a way to bring weaknesses in our life. And he also brings in a lot of sadness to destroy us. How can we overcome this? How can we overcome the tricks of Satan? How shall we overcome all these problems? For that we need a mighty power. It is that mighty power God gives us through the anointing of Holy Ghost. That's what Jesus told until you are being anointed by this mighty power, don't leave Jerusalem. And to his disciples he told you, need this power. Oh, you have met me as a resurrected Jesus. You have listened to my words. It, it is okay that you have seen me. But it is not only enough. You must be anointed with power. Until you receive the power, don't leave Jerusalem. Only after you become as a powerful person, you can do ministry. Jesus himself spoke to his disciples clearly. Look at the life of disciples. Look at the life of Peter. Oh, he was afraid of ordinary woman and he said, I don't know Jesus and he cursed and promised. But when you come into the book of Acts, you will see that Peter told that you killed the crucified this Jesus. 
and but god made him to resurrect and we are testimonies for that ipolude dhairyamaya janangale paathu pesugira now he spoke to the people with much courage neengal avare kole seidirge you killed him ana devan avare uyirode elipina but god brought him back to life angaladarke saatchige we are witnesses for that ipadi inda dhairyam vandade how did this courage came peyidirite poi peyidirve eppadi namakku inda dhairyam vandadhu endu kettal enna solli irupa supposing if we go to peter and ask him peter how did you get this courage when they go say naalile parisu daaviyan avare enmide irangina he will say in the day of pentecost the holy ghost came upon me appolude enakkulla inda balan vandade and then i received this power appolude enakkulla inda vallamai vandade and then i received this courage as power manisha bayam allam enna vittu velakkira and then all of worldly fear ran from me and vallamai petrukonde paragavadi vaalkaiye maarugirathu the moment he accepted the power his life was transformed சீசர்கள் இயேசுவுக்கு கைது செய்ய விரோதிகள் வந்தபோது ஓடி போனார்கள் when the enemies came to arrest jesus disciples ran away and the apostles and the people are looking but if you see in the book of acts apostles the dhairyam of jesus patti prasangithar all the apostles spoke courageously about jesus avulukku virodhamai madha thalavugal elumina bodu avangal bayapadavilla they were not afraid even when the religious leaders rose up against them eppadi and the dhairyam vandathu how did the courage came parishuddha abhyan avar endra vallamai kodathu all the holy ghost who gave them the power agave than jesus chonar inda vallamai ningal petru kolla vendum therefore jesus said you must receive this power how samana yavar mene naaviye ootuven endru solli irukkara he has told i will pour my flesh upon i will pour my spirit upon every flesh ellarukkum endra vallame andavar kodukka virumbugal and god wants to give this power to every person and the parishuddha aviyanavar namakkulle vandu vitta when this holy ghost comes into us indha prachane dhairyama sandhikka mudiyum we can meet any problem with courage indha poraatathe dhairyama sandhikka mudiyum we can meet any struggling with courage indha satan ஒன்லி <laughs> வல்லமை <laughs> ஒரு சமயம் ஒரு சகோதரர் என்னை பார்த்த போது ஒரு காரியம் சொன்னார் குறித்து கேள்விப்பட்டவுடன் the moment we come to know about the holy spirit parishuddhavin vallamai petru kolla romba thaagam undayittu and there came a great thirst to receive the power of holy ghost endha uliyara paathal enak parishuddhan abhishevanu jomannu endha kelpa he used to ask to every servant of god that i want to be anointed by holy spirit and please pray for me yaradur ulikar prasang manna vanda enakku sugam venum idu venum idu venum adukke jebing edhu solla matta he will never ask for that i need this kind of blessing and that kind of blessing or healing or something like that yaar ite jebing ponal abhishega vanna jomannu enna ket to whoever he goes to pray he will only ask for the anointing of holy spirit jebithu konde irunda oh he was kept on praying sila varadangal kadandu poi vittu and many years rolled like that and anubavarku kedaikkavillai it didn't have the anointing anara sondu pogama jebithu konde irunda he was never weary and he continued to pray oru naal cycle la road la poi konde irundara when they was going on in the road cycling appo oru cycle la poi kondu irukkum bodhe manasile jebichara he was praying while he was going in his bicycle and ore ithana varshama na parishuddhavin vallamikkaga thaagathodu kelkiren lord For so many years I have been asking you with much thirst for the anointing of Holy Spirit. Yena kinda ni parshutavi taramata nengiri re. Till you are not giving me the anointing. Jippa dan taru hirandu re. When will you give it to me, Lord? Ando chuna ipan taru kama nara. And God asked him, "Shall I give you now?" Jippa road le cycle bolna road hirandu bol. When he was cycling on the road, basu bogu the car bogu the road le varu na cycle road hi kundar kambo. The buses were playing there, and there was traffic, and he was going in his bicycle. Jippa na wonder nara pata mana. The Lord asked him, "Shall I anoint you now?" 
அவருக்கு ஒரே ஆச்சரியம் இப்ப ஆண்டவர் தருவாரா ஓ ஹி வாஸ் வண்டரிங் வில் காட் கிவ் மீ தட் அவர் ரோடா இருந்தானே காடா இருந்தானே எனக்கு முடி அபிஷேக வேணும் ஹி இஸ் எ லார்ட் Well, it is road or forest or any place. I need you, Ramanji. How long have I been craving for that, Lord? Road and 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 immediately he parked his cycle on the side of the road and ran into a garden nearby. And God anointed him with Holy Ghost. He told me with much joy. brother i was wondering etaniyo kote thale pe job mani irukkare oh i had ran to lot of crusades for that etaniyo church le pe job mani irukkare i had gone to lot of churches for that veetla ella job it irukkare navishe venum so oh i had been praying in my home for a long time like that and the road le cycle oti kondu irukumbod aandu solugira but while i was going in the road on my bicycle god told me nanu ne nerappugiren endru oh i am feeling you in that area nan evlo naala thaagathod irundhen how long i was craving etra navishega mani na and Lord anointed me. Magalchi odu kuda var kodina. Oh, he shared me with a lot of joy. Parangal andavar endha nerathila namukku tham vallame kodukkalam. Oh, God can give us his power any time. Nam sonna pogamal kettukonde irukka vendum. But we should be keeping on asking him with all our hearts. Yes, sir. Petrukolla varaikku nam eda koda. Until we receive the Holy Spirit, we should never leave him. Apostolargal andha naalile kaathirundargal. And the apostles were waiting for God by the and abhishegam irangu maraikku kaathirundargal. Until God anointed them They were waiting in the field of God. Only one or two days. Not only for two, three days. All the night they were waiting for God. They were waiting for God. They were waiting for God. But for many, many days they have been waiting in the field of God and praying. Only one or two days. 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 Only యేసు అవులకు ఒక కట్టలే కొడుతారు గాడ్ గేవ్ దెమ్ ద వన్ కమాండ్మెంట్ ముదలావుద అవులకు సమాధానాన్ని కొడత ఆశీర్వదిత ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ హి గేవ్ దెమ్ పీస్ అండ్ బ్లెస్ దెమ్ రెండవది పరిశుద్ధ ఆత్మయనుడే వల్లమే ఆండవర్ కొడత సెకండ్లీ హి గేవ్ దెమ్ ద పవర్ ఆఫ్ హోలీ గోస్ట్ మూడవది దేవన అవులకు ఒక కట్టలే కొడతారు థర్డ్లీ హి గేవ్ దెమ్ ద కమాండ్మెంట్ 21వ వచనం బారంగి ఫి రీడ్ ఇన్ ద వర్డ్స్ నంబర్ 21 యేసు మరుమడి మౌలే నోకి ఊంగలకు సమాధానం ఉండవదాగే பிதா என்னை அனுப்பினதை போல நானும் உங்களை அனுப்புகிறேன் என்று சொன்னார் then jesus said unto them again peace be unto you as my father had sent me even so i send you பிதா என்னை அனுப்பினதை போல நானும் உங்களை அனுப்புகிறேன் in the same way the father had gone had sent me i send you எதற்காக ஆண்டவர் அனுப்புகிறார் why god sends us நீங்கள் புறப்பட்டு போய் சகல ஜாதிகளை சேஷராக்குங்கள் as you go and make every people as my disciples நீங்கள் புறப்பட்டு போய் சுவிசேஷத்தை அறிவீங்கள் you go and proclaim my gospel அதான் ஊழித்தளை நாட்டவர் கொடுக்கிற ஒரு கட்டளை that is the commandment given by the resurrected jesus அவர் நமக்கு சமாதானத்தை தருகிறார் oh he gives us peace தன்னுடைய வல்லமை தருகிறார் he gives us his power அடுத்து ஆண்டவர் ஒரு கட்டளை கொடுக்கிறார் and then he gives us a commandment என்னுடைய சமாதானத்தை நீங்கள் பெற்றுக்கொண்டு you accepted my peace na kodita paavam anni pay petru kondirukke you accepted the redemption i gave vallame naan ungalukku thandu vittai i have given you my power ippolude ningal parappettu poonga and now you go forth ningal parappettu poonga go forth suvishesha tharuviyunga proclaim the gospel ellari sheesharaakunga make everyone as disciples thavar or kattarai kodukkara god gave him a commandment idu yaar kodiyathu to whom it belongs rachikapatta ovvoru varu kaandavar kodukira kattalai and this is the commandment given by god to everyone who is saved by the blood of jesus rachikapatta ovvoru varu kaandavar kodukira kattalai and to everyone who is saved god gives this commandment irudan pradana kattai endradaga nam arigiram we come to know that this is the primary commandment given by god aagave inda pradana kattalaiye neravetruvadan ovvoru vishwasinudaiya thalaiyaya porupai irukkara so it is the primary responsibility for every believer to fulfill this kind of commandment of god and our dear or a very important commandment of god 
the great commission of Jesus. It is a great commission of Lord Jesus Christ. This must be embedded in every heart. Because God is a God who is having concern over the flock. Sheep are not on the flocks. He gives the responsibility to the believers that they must go and make the sheep which are not in the flocks and bring them back into flocks. And if you say in the Solagara Varhil, you know, Rathama, we read Chipabul and Nadata with all. If you call yourself as a believer and if you don't bring your soul into God that it means readily that you are not perfected in your salvation. Your salvation is not a perfect. You are just on the way that song. You may have got the joy of accepting Jesus or being saved. You may have been also filled by Holy Ghost. You may have also received the gifts of God. You may have been Filled with a lot of visions. But if you are not able to bring your soul into salvation, you are not perfect in your spiritual experience. You must gain win souls. That is the important responsibility God has given to a believer. If you ask why you are brought into salvation, why you have accepted the Holy Ghost, why you worship God like this, some believers say, only then I can go to heaven, or I can go to the kingdom of God when God comes. If God is saved you for that purpose, the moment he saved you, he would have taken you to heaven. Immediately the funeral will be there. Or you have been saved and you have been anointed and you can go to heaven straight away. Then why God has kept us in this earth? So that we we'll go and proclaim gospel to other people. To bring people who are in darkness to light. But that kind of job God has kept us in this world. We must fulfill that. I met a brother in Dubai. Our <coughs> computer engineer Akavelisegara. He is working there in Dubai as a computer engineer. He is from India and working there. He has put him in a very good job and is making good money. He goes to the churches and is very active member of the Tamil church there. He has got a lot of love on God also. And he has accepted God as a savior. Oh, he is living happily. One day, one day he was sent from his office to Germany on his job. While he was working in Germany in office, he suffered a heart attack there. He was taken to the hospital. They had kept him in a hospital in Germany. He was in a fainted condition and he was in coma in the hospital. The doctors came and examined him. And they were chatting among them, thinking that he is in a fainted condition. But they told that he is very serious. Oh, it is tough for him to live. Oh, he is in a very dangerous condition. Now death is nearing him. This person was able to listen to those conversation mildly, gently. And he came to know that he is going to die. The doctor said, no, you will not live. And now he started to look up to Jesus and started to pray. He said, Lord, I am going to die. He asked, Lord, will I come to heaven? God said, you cannot come to heaven. 
This man was shocked. Lord, why he cannot come to heaven? Oh, how many souls you have brought for me? Our son are Marana Padakele, our day Marana Neringi Kondrikara Nero, Andurkum, our Kanadande, and a Pechuate, our son. The brother shared the conversation which he had with God at the time of his death. How many souls you have brought to me? That Lord, I have not brought anything. What have you done for me? What have you done for me? He just thought about that and he understood nothing. A lot of Christian people are thinking that wearing tie, they come to the church and give communion. Oh, you've done a great ministry. Oh, you are not doing this for God. We do this for us to have a fellowship with God. What do you do outside this church? How many people have spoken about Jesus? How many sheep have been brought into the flock by you? Nine months have rolled in this year. What have you done for Jesus? One day when you go to your death, will you think that Jesus will welcome you happily to heaven? When thousands of souls are perishing in front of your eyes and if you are not proclaiming the gospel to them, can you go and meet happily Jesus? If you don't proclaim about Jesus, not even to one single soul, do you think that God will welcome you happily to heaven? You worship selfishly, you pray selfishly and you receive blessing selfishly. So many servants of God come and you go and pray. But how many souls you have brought to me? How many people are longing for peace in their life? How many people are running towards hell? With the ignorance that they are running to hell. In the place of employment. In the place of doing. Yes, we put to you. Have you spoken about Jesus at least to one single person? God asked him, what have you done for me? I shed all my blood for you. And he wept and wept bitterly on his bed. Lord, give me one more chance. He told to the Lord, Andure, innum ure uru tharanum enak tharum. Enak inno uru sandar pantha. Give me one more chance, O Lord. Anani iru kumai patti sholu. I will proclaim about you to many people. Anani iru kumakkode naan kondi varu. I'll bring lot of people into your presence. Anani iru kumakkode omai kodit arvik enak uru sandar pantha aru. Give me one single chance, Lord, I will go and proclaim about the soul. Ipidi ye naan maritu vinta ala, inu di nelamai paridhaba. Lord, if I die like this, my condition will be perfect. Enak inno uru sandar pantha aru. Just give me one more. God listen to the prayer. I will give you one more chance. And God took him out of the death condition. And the brother came and met me. He shared this thing to me. How also he is working in Dubai as a computer engineer. He told me, brother, every day I speak about Jesus. Every day I speak about Jesus, at least what to one person. Oh, I been bringing lot of souls into salvation. Oh, brother, I am very happy in my heart. Brother. That is Christian life. Bringing a soul into the God. 
Yesu sikra vara pogran ini nama Yesuah sikra. We believe that Jesus is going to come again soon. Anu di vara ke kaya taman ne. What is the preparation for the second coming? Yar anu di vara ke le kana padu vara. Who will be seen in the second coming? Over sabi one anu sulu deh. Ciga pandu ne. Tanah itu kan abis seiman ada sei ne ada sei anu sulu. Churches preach in a very different peculiar way. Ella weda itu le ulah deh dan. Everything is only from the Bible. But I want to share you one important thing. Once a father decided to take a long journey. He called his son. He called his son and said, Son, my office is very untidy. You arrange everything beautifully. I will come back and see that. The father gave the son a responsibility and went for a journey. After he finished all his job and came back, he asked son, have you finished the job I gave to you? The son told father, all your dresses were untied. I washed everything and ironed them and they are in the hanger perfectly. The father asked, did you do the job I gave you? He said, I, your shoes are very dirty. I polished everything and they are very clean. The father asked him, son, did you do the job I told you? <laughs> what is the expectation of the father? Oh, the, did you do the job which I gave you while I went away? Okay, you did it for me. You polished the shoes for me. But what was the job given by the father to the son? Oh, you are doing all this wonderful job as a volunteer and cleaning everything in the worship for God only. You are taking offerings and count it and give it to the pastor only for God. But when he comes back, what he will ask, you know? He won't ask you how you took the offering. What was the job he gave to us? What was the last job given by Jesus when he ascended up to heaven? Go to the entire parts of the world and proclaim the gospel. That is the important job given by God to the congregation of the church. That is the greatest responsibility given by God to every believer. And when he comes back, he will ask that to you. Did he do the job that I gave? To how many people you proclaimed about me? And how many people have been made as disciples by you? God will ask you that. That is the preparation for coming up God. Only those who do minister of ministry to God and only those who win souls shall be partakers of heaven. You check up your heart today. How long you have been saved? Since the day of your salvation. How many souls have been brought into salvation by you? And what have you done for that? It is that thing which God sees in you. Do something for that. Do something to save souls. After the worship in the afternoon and you go to the streets and walk somewhere and speak about Jesus to someone. At least for one hour in a week. At least one hour in a week. At least to four, five people to share about Jesus. That is the blessing for you. Once in Australia, 83 year old woman came to the pastor. Pastor, 
என்று பாஸ்டர் இடத்துல கேட்டார் ஐ வாஸ் தி பாஸ்டர் பாஸ்டர் ஐ வாண்ட் டு டு சம்திங் ஃபார் காட் சோ சோ ஃபார் ஐ ஹேவ் டன் நவ் எனிதிங் நதிங் டு காட் வாட் ஷட் ஐ டூ பாஸ்டர் பாத்தார் 83 வயசு பாட்டியமாக என்ன ஊழியம் கொடுக்கிறது பாஸ்டர் சாதத் எல்டர்லி உமன் அண்ட் தாட் ஓ ஷீ இஸ் 83 இயர் ஓல்ட் உமன் வாட் ஷட் ஐ டெல் இவர் வாலிபல்ல இருந்தால ட்ராக்ஸ் கொடுத்துடுவா அதுக்கு எல்லாம் வேலை கொடுக்கலாம் ஓகே இஃப் ஷீ இஸ் यंग ஐ கேன் ஆஸ்க் ஹர் டு கோ அண்ட் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட் ட்ராக்ஸ் அண்ட் கிவ் சம் அதர் ஜாப்ஸ் 83 வயசு வயசாய் போச்சு இவங்களுக்கு என்ன ஊழியம் கொடுக்க முடியும் வாட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் मिनिस्टर ஐ கேன் ஆஸ்க் ஹர் டு டு இன் திஸ் ஏஜ் ஆஃப் 83 இயர் அவளுக்குள்ள ஒரு பாரன இது வரைக்கும் இயேசு தான் ஒன்னு செய்யலையே பட் ஷீ ஹேட் a கன்சர்ன் அண்ட் கிரீப் தட் ஓ ஐ ஹேவ் டன் நதிங் ஃபார் ஜீசஸ் சோ ஃபார் அந்த பாஸ்டர் சொன்னார் நீங்க ஆண்டோடதுல ஜெபம் பண்ணுங்க அவர் சொல்றபடி செய்யுங்க என்ன பதில் கொடுத்த அந்த பாஸ்டர் செல் தட் வுமன் டோல் தட் வுமன் யூ கோ அண்ட் ப்ரே டு காட் அண்ட் ஓபே வாட் ஹி சேஸ் இந்த பாட்டிய மா ஜெபம் பண்ணாங்க திஸ் ஓல் வுமன் வெண்ட் அண்ட் சே ப்ரே விட்டு 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 வெளிய எல்லாம் போய் இங்க ஊழி செய்ய முடியாது ஷி கேனட் கோ அவுட் அண்ட் டு मिनिஸ்ட்ரி ஆண்ட் எவர் உங்களுக்கு ஒரு ஆலோசனை கொடுத்தார் காட் கேவ் ஹர் வண்டர்புல் கவுன்சிலிங் ஒரு சின்ன போர்டு எழுதுனாங்க ஷி ரோட் a small board are you alone there is a hope for you come adana eludana vaarthai neengal thanimai irukkireergala ungalukku oru nambikai undu vaarungal chinna oru board eludhi veettukku munnala vechitaanga she wrote a small board like that and kept it in front of her house adavaliyaga nariya college students nariya college la vela seira professors ella angulla kallurikku povaanga through that way lot of professors and students will go to the college in the board paathittu palar and veetukulla vandu and thai edathila pes aarambichu seeing this board lot of people entered into the gold women's house and all started talking to her varavulukkalla yesu patti solli rachu pogala nadu who ever stepped into the house the gold women shared about jesus and brought them to salvation avanga maripadarkullaga 83 aathmaakale rachu pogala nadathi irukkara before she died she brought 83 souls into salvation 83 vaisil and vaidana kaalathila uli sey aarambithu 83 aathmaakale kattarukai kondu vandha when she started to do ministry when she was 83 years old she brought 83 souls into god before she died adutha pombodu 83 aathmaakale avulukkaga irukum one day when she goes to heaven 83 souls will be waiting evlo sandosham oh what a great job neenga enna pallavathu pona ethana aathma avulukkaga nu kaathirukum if you go to heaven today how many souls will be there for you neengale yosthu paaru please think of that இன்றைக்கு திருச்சபை ஸ்தாபிக்கப்பட்டது நோக்கம் சுவிசேஷத்தை அறிவிப்பதற்காக ஒவ்வொரு விசுவாசியனுடைய தலையாய பொறுப்பு சுவிசேஷத்தை அறிவிப்பார் the primary importance of every believer is to preach the gospel and over and the kattalai kodukara it is god who gives this command apostle nadavadigale paarenge if you read the book of acts ella viswasigalum uli seidargal every believer did the ministry apostle gal mathram alle not only the apostles ella viswasigalum uli seidargal every believer did the ministry of god ella aathmaakale kondu vandar everyone one lot of soul aathmaakalukaga uyirai kodutar oh they even sacrificed their lives for soul நிரப்படும் greater joy than all these things or aathma ve rachipu kole vali nadathuva is that when you bring one soul into salvation aagu andavar indikku ungal irukkira ungal irukkira adai kurithu pesugira therefore regarding that god is talking to you today andavar enak aathma ve thaaru nu kelunga you ask lord give me a soul ennai aathma adaiyathile payanpaduthu or use me in winning souls lord naan silare yavudhu mukkale vali nadathana let me bring at least some souls to you lord end andavarathile pesunga you talk to the lord like that உங்களுடைய சமாதான பாதிக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறதோ 
ஒரு <laughs> <laughs> எனக்கு வேண்டும் என்று கேளுங்க எனக்கு மெய்யான சமாதானத்தை தாரும் ஏற்றுக் கொள்ளுகிறேன் என்று சொல்லுங்க எனக்கு தாரும் வல்லமை வேண்டும் எனக்கு வேண்டும் உனக்காக நான் மறித்தேன் எங்கோ குப்பையிலே கிடந்த ஒன்னை நான் தூக்கி எடுத்து என் ரத்தத்தினால் கழுவி என் குமாரனாக குமாரத்தையாக மாற்றினேன் எனக்காக என்ன செய்ய வாட் ஹாவ் யூ டன் ஃபார் மீ யூஸ் தி பாரங்க ப்ளீஸ் செக் அப் யுவர் ஹார்ட் டுடே இயேசு காக இதுவரை என்ன செய்திருக்கிறார் ஜீசஸ் வாட் वी ஹேவ் டன் சோ ஃபார் எத்தனை பேருக்கு அவரை சொல்லி இருக்கிறார் ஹவ் many people we have spoken about him love it all in the தீர்மானம் பண்ணுவோம் if not let us take a decision இதுவரை நான் ஒன்னு செய்யவில்லை லார்ட் ஐ ஹேவ் நாட் 
done anything so far. But from today, Lord, I want to do something, Lord. I want to do something, Master. I must do something for you, Lord. Lord, please help me. Help me, Lord. Let me do something for you, Lord. To bring souls into your presence, Lord, let me do something. Help me, Lord. I want to do something for Jesus. Those people who dedicate like that, I want to pray. God spoke to me. And I want to do something to Him. I want to speak about him to other people. I want to bring lot of souls into his presence. I must do something for Jesus. I dedicate myself. If some of you are dedicating like that, please raise up your right hand. I am going to pray for you. Jesus is looking upon you. Jesus is seeing you. Heart is filled with joy. Oh, this heart is filled with happy. Oh, my children want to do something for me. Seeing you, his heart is very happy. He will certainly use you. And through you he shall rob a lot of souls. Father, I pray for your children. I pray for those who are dedicated to the Lord. We want to do something. Oh, we have to win souls. We have to bring the people from darkness to light alone. Since you are not in the flock, shall be brought in the flock alone. Your father is not in the flock, shall be brought in the flock alone. We have to bring the perishing souls to your presence, Lord. We have to stop the souls running towards hills alone. Lord, we have to stop the souls running towards hills alone. We have to stop the souls running towards hills alone. Especially the people who are dedicated for the Lord. Lord, strengthen them with your power today. 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 Lord, use them with your power today. Lord, strengthen 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 them with your power today.